Hey guys, um, the pleasure to meet you guys. Uh, my name is DJ Bucks. I'm from South Africa. I'm a DJ, producer, performer, dancer. Uh, yeah, I'm an all rounder <laughs> when it comes to art. So, yeah, it's a pleasure to meet you and it's a pleasure to be here. I'm sure for those of you who will be here tonight, we'll see what he means by performer. He's just electrifying on stage. I, I know some of you know Kinawe Chukucha. Is that the song? Yeah. That's it. Yeah. So for tonight, I sure, I'm sure he's, uh, he's planned a serious performance. Of and course. then from there, I'm sure you'll be able to put up now a better story. Want to see what you can do as well. Because I think it's the first time you'll be performing here at Black Samurai. So you can pick up a lot from that. Pinto, I yes. don't know if there's anything you want to say about Black Samurai. Uh, but, uh, basically, I don't have much experience. My experience is what, uh, what the night entails. When you hear the good life, the good experience, so we here for you. There's nothing more that goes beyond Black Samurai than that. So welcome tonight for the great show. Yeah, Samurai has been here for just two months and we are growing It's a new place. I think I've taken you around. You've seen the place, how it, how it operates. Quite an uptown, Harlingham, Kilimani. And we'll be bringing a lot of artists as well. And a lot of Kenyan uh, artists are trying to push as well. So I think we'll be seeing a lot of you. Because every time we have this, we'll be having this uh, reunion. Because let me not say it's a press uh, briefing. What is expected of me as a DJ tonight? Najua. I don't need to introduce myself again. It's going to be electrifying for me as well. I love it here. It's the first time I'll be performing at Black Samurai as well. So... I think we'll have a, a crazy time. Yeah, sure. Right? right? <laughs> yeah, so Maswali Kutoka Kwenye. Yes, uh, my name is Shiko Dutao from Kai Indonesia. Uh, this is Max, welcome to Kenya. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. Karibu. Yeah, I'm here first time, maybe even. Uh, no, it's not my first time. Uh, the last time I came was for the Blanket Festival. Mm -hmm. Yeah, most of the events that I did in Kenya were festivals, so it's the first time I'm doing club gigs, so yeah. Right, so maybe you found the right industry. Uh, you want to know apart from maybe your performance uh, tonight here at Black Samurai. Do you have any other events coming? Uh, not confirmed yet, so I, I don't, I'd rather not mention without confirmation yet. Uh -huh. to do a collaboration with Saudi Soul. Yeah, but we've been missing each other like a lot. Like we were supposed to do it now when I came to Kenya, but I just found out that they were also doing a tour in the UK. So, but we're making it happen. That's the main reason why I came here actually, to meet a lot of artists and get to know them and exchange music and yeah, work further. Oh, Saudi Soul has always been collaborating with South African artists and I met them through uh, the company owner that I used to be under, which is Kalawa, Kalawa Jasmine, which is owned by Oskido. So, which, with them, I know them personally, that's why I've been meaning to do a collab with them. So, now that I'm here, I'm looking forward to knowing a lot of artists that are both growing and established personally and to that level too, so I can grow my reach. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Bucks, how, how, how are you? I'm good, how are you, bro? Uh, I'm Claude. Claude. Good to see you, bro. Good to see you too, bro. Nice. So, my question is, uh, you say that uh, this is not your first time ever yeah. to be in Kenya. So, maybe what's so unique about Kenya compared to your country? Uh, Com compared to my country? Yes. Uh, Wow, the scenery. The scenery is very beautiful. Like, I love nature with all my heart, so seeing a lot of green, a lot of cleanliness, like a lot of welcoming people, it's, it's very refreshing to me, you know. And yeah, the vibe is also different from South Africa. So yeah, it, it's, it's, very, it's very unique for me and I love it. 
South Africa is crazy. <laughs> South Africa is crazy. You should come and experience for yourself. But Kenya is also dope. That's what I'm saying, yeah. yeah. Another question. Yeah, brother. You being a DJ, you consume a lot of music. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to ask, uh, like, recent to your current trip, which Kenya artists are you referring to? Or which music? Oh. Mm -hmm. can, Wait, you... can you rephrase that? Which Kenyan can, can music are you listening to? Which artist are you listening to right now? Oh, yeah, as I, as I said, that's the main reason why I came oh, here. Yeah. Still. Yeah, that's the main reason why I came here. I'm organizing a lot of studio time with the artists. I'm not really, uh, I have not caught the names yet. Yes, but I have met a lot of artists through social media and we are making it happen here. Yeah. I have another question for you, Yes, brother. Uh, I'm a piano is really an amazing genre of music. Mm -hmm. And due to the fact that uh, the piano has uh, uh, originated from South Africa, and due to what people are saying, uh, people who are saying that uh, piano, it's not really, it might soon come to an end. And uh, I don't know what is your take on that. Do you think that probably our piano might uh, come to an end? I don't think so. Um, our piano is not a genre for South Africa but it's a genre that comes from South Africa, but it's for Africa, you get what I mean? So a lot of African artists find their, their spot in the piano music, you know? They know how to include piano with the music that they've been doing. So, so far we have Nigeria, uh, Kenya also, we have uh, Tanzanians. There are a lot of people are coming into the piano scene and adding their own flavor into it. So I feel like Ama Piano is a genre that we can be proud of as Africans, that it's something that we are exporting and we're getting the whole world to watch us as Africans and not only South Africans. Yeah, man, so it's here to stay, brother. DJ Bart, welcome to Kenya. My name is Neva from Neva TV. And uh, I've seen South African artists like Kenya artists consume local content. DJs play local content. Whereas in Kenya, we have a problem so what do you, what strategy do you guys use to play local content? Because a lot of DJs, a lot of TV stations, they promote South African music. Okay. So how, how do you do that? Because in Kenya, it's a bit tough. So. Uh, I would say that we, South Africans are very hard workers because we, we have a lot of competition amongst ourselves, you know? Like every other day, there's a new artist that comes up and that trends on social media, you get what I mean? So we have abundance when it comes to choosing music that we need to play, you know? It's not about that we're playing music because it's South African music, no. We're playing it because it's dope music, you get what I mean? If even uh, Nigerian music is also played in South Africa and it's also taking over the clubs, so so we don't actually specify that which music comes from where and we're going to play it because of that, you know? We just play music. If it sounds nice, then we play it. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, that is an issue. Well, I always say, as DJs are controlled by the crowd, mm -hmm. what you guys want to listen to is what we play because I'm, I'm employed. You get. So if I come and play music here and I don't make the client happy, then I'm in trouble. So I have to research what is it that the people here want to listen to and I give them that. So I don't think it's ever been an issue with the DJs, but we get so much control by what the, you guys want to listen to. So if you want to listen to my piano, that's what I'm going to play because at the end of the day I want to be paid. But in our own channels we are able to push what we want. Where now if you go to my YouTube channel, probably you listen you hear, I push, I try to push a lot of Kenyan music, or the kind of music I like. That is on my personal level, but when it comes to the public, I have to kill the public, because that's who pays my bill. Did you have been a media personality yes. for the um, past few years? Yeah. You have been an actress, yeah. and you're going up on you, mm. and you also are a DJ, right? Now. Yeah. 
and uh, you will see you are ready in the program. Mm -hmm. So what are the challenges which you pass through as a, as a lady DJ going to play uh, music in the clubs? How, do they, how does the society, sorry, how does the society view uh, Kenyan ladies who play uh, as a DJ yeah. in the clubs? I mean, uh, this is something that can take a whole day for me to tell you. I, I began like, I, I think I was like the first DJ to try make it out here in a big way. That was like almost 15 years ago. And the moment I stepped in the club, everybody thought I'm a, you know, the W word that I don't want to say. You know, like, they think you're not a straight up chick because you're a D, you're a female and you're in a club and your dressing has to be impressive to the revelers. So... I, I got judged a lot, and apart from being judged, the the people, the revelers, the club owners, such people would think it's you're easy to get, so they would tease you with money over your performance, you know. So they're like, I know, I, I, are you coming or not? Like, it was so hard to stand up and say that it's a career, unlike somebody, a dude will come and you know you're coming for work, but for us it used to be like, let me do you a favor. But I was able to make it straight and for people to realize that now it's a career. And I think right now we have almost 200 female DJs and they're making money out of it. They've, they've had a career. But for the people who started it, we went through uh, a hell of a time. Yeah. My question is, now that you are here with DJ Bach, you see our audience, what do you mean? <coughs> Entertainment boys or <laughs> as lovers? <laughs> Everything. Content, I see. <laughs> Didn't I tell you about the bloggers? <laughs> I told him. I told him such things come. So, DJ Bucks for me is somebody I look up to. Ever since I started music, his music has made me quite popular as a DJ. You know, Waitukucha sound, all this uh, Soweto. Like, he's such a great producer. So even when I heard he was playing here and I was called to play, I didn't hesitate. I was like, yes, I want to play alongside him. Because for me, he's, he's one of those DJs and music producers I look up to. Uh, I haven't been able, unfortunately, to spend so much time with, with him. In case I do, and we have something that can... Maybe get married, I will tell you. But so far we don't, <laughs> like I haven't, you know. Yeah, the moment we spend time. However, I, I look forward to working with him uh, business-wise. I think he's a great producer and that's the direction I also want to go to. So I'm sure we'll be working a lot in terms of business. Uh, uh, thank you very much for visiting Kenya today. Thank you yeah, my name is Moses from M&M M &M Kenya TV. Okay. And uh, my question was that, how long have you been in the field? That's number one question. And second one, how do I become a DJ? Oh, man. Okay, the first question, I've been in the field since 2002. Yeah, that's yeah, more than mm -hmm. 20 years. So, yeah, so yeah. Uh, another f question to answer you, yeah. how do you become a DJ? Yeah, yeah um, because someone might ask me about the same question. All right. Uh, Firstly, I would say you have to love music, you know. You have to love music to a point whereby you know what music will move people, you know. So that's the first step into becoming a DJ. You have to know what people like because if it resonates with you, it's going to resonate with the people that, is going, that are going to listen to the music that you present. And also, you must look into getting classes from a DJ that you know can put you on a pedestal, you know? So get classes, train, and then when you feel like you're ready to present who you are, then do it. And also find your niche. Find something that you know is going to attract people to you and only you. Whether it's going to be your charisma when you're DJing, or it's going to be the skill that you use when you're DJing, or it's going to be you improvising with the microphone when you're DJing because a lot of DJs do the same thing. But if you find something that you know that people are going to be drawn to you with, then that's going to get you higher quicker. DJ Banks, uh, when you say uh, you produce 
music is the video. Yeah. You produce music with a whiz scale. Yeah. Somebody might, might ask us, what do you check in an artist before doing a collaboration? Secondly, when you do a collaboration with an artist, you know uh, some of the people want them to be posted maybe on the social media handles uh, to mean that uh, they have um, made partnership or worked together with the person. So do you like promote your artist I mean, your friends who you collaborate with, sorry, or uh, are you the person who maybe you do the work and then just let go? Uh, firstly, music to me is a passion, you know. So I love to work with people that are as passionate as I am with music, you know. So, and another thing is that I don't choose if you are big then I'll work with you. If you're not big, then I won't work with you. As long as you have passion for music and you have the creativity that I love, then I, I can definitely work with anybody, you know? So, yeah. And the second question that you're asking about posting on social yeah, media. Yeah, some of the people, yeah. uh, they need maybe to be posted, you know, to get assurance that I did work with this guy. And so how do you, do you promote your... Yeah, your, um... I really, I really love seeing people grow. Like I'm a very big celebrator of seeing people's success. So if I feel like my platform will help you get to where you need to be, then I won't think twice. Yeah. Um, I'm Kratos from Kenya Music. I would like to ask you your visit to Kenya. How do you think will it influence your career uh, apart from music? Uh, please rephrase that. Uh, you visiting Kenya. Mm -hmm. How do you think uh, will it influence your music career? Like uh, you visit Kenya? Yeah. How will it change your career? Oh, uh, in a big way because a lot of Kenyan music is not popular in South Africa. So me hearing new sounds from Kenyan artists, mm -hmm. hearing new approaches when it comes to tracks is very intriguing for me. I love hearing new stuff. You get what I mean? So I think it will changed me in a very deep way and I also want to make a song in the Kenyan language, you know. Mm -hmm. So I wanna I wanna be able to connect more with the people that also love my music and also get to know them more, you get what I mean? So I think it will change or in in, in impact in my music making in a big way. Yeah. And the last question is uh, what are the challenges that you're facing on that DJ? Uh, which are, you think are similar to Kenyan DJs? Oh man, as when you get to, uh, when you meet people that don't believe in what you do, mm -hmm. maybe looking at DJ Piera, uh, she has been a, a media personality and doing all sorts of things and acting. So when she goes into DJing and says I'm a DJ, they say no, stick to media or stick to acting. You get what I mean? So those are the challenges that we face as artists because I feel like if God gives you a talent, you should explore into what other talents you have as a human being, you get what I mean? And don't uh, listen to the noises that always say to you, you can't do this or you can't do that. As long as you feel that you can do something, do it to the best of your ability. Yeah. Hello, DJ Bat. Uh, Hi. Welcome to Kenya. Thank you. So uh, my question is uh, about the show tonight. Maybe what are you looking uh, forward to and maybe what should fans expect? Oh man, I'm looking forward to a great time. I'm looking forward to giving one of the dopest sets that you guys have ever heard. And an exhilarating performance also. That's tonight? So, yeah, that's tonight. Oh okay. yeah? That's tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'm very much prepared and I've, I've been eager to, to, to give you guys the best show that you've ever had, yes. Hello, my name is Kakade from Kakade TV. My question is, so far, what is the any interesting story you came so far in your stay away? Oh, uh, I tried your pup. It's very uh, hard. <laughs> pup is ugali. <laughs> Theirs is very soft, ours is hard. Oh my god, uh, yeah. I was in, in South Africa, we've never, I, I've never eaten such a <laughs> Like if you hit someone on the head with it, you faint. <laughs> so, yeah, it's something that I need to get used to, but your delicacies are very, are very dope, like Nyamachuma, like that's, that's very dope. Like, 
Yamachoma, right? Yeah, Did I say it right? Yamachoma, yes. Yamachoma. Yeah. <laughs> Yamachoma, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, Yamachoma. I really love I, I really love that too. Yeah, that's that's very interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, I do want to ask a silly question. Mm-hmm. Comparing uh, South Africa and chicks, many chicks. We do the same thing after the chicks. You put me on the spot, then, bro. You can have it. So far, I've been cooped up in the hotel, you know, like, uh, <laughs> so okay. I haven't gotten the chance to actually see what Kenyan babes have to offer, you know? <laughs> <laughs> to offer? No, not offer, obviously, <laughs> like, like to my eyes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so but maybe yeah, you'll experience that tonight. Maybe I'll experience that tonight, but so far, that, man, everybody's beautiful, man. Mm-hmm. Like, everybody's beautiful. Ah, man. I feel like me experiencing new sounds and always having the creativity to make something new every day always keeps me going and makes me believe that I have something to offer to the world, you get what I mean? So I'm not the kind of people that get uh, mental, mental blocks when they're in the studio. They don't know what to do. I don't do that. I always know what to do when I hear a sound or I hear a song. Like I can even make a song from you speaking. You get what I mean? So that's what I feel like is my edge as a DJ or as a producer or as a song maker. You get what I mean? So as long as I wake up and still get ideas in my head, I feel like I will never stop. Okay, amazing. Uh, my present to DJ is here because I can't live without asking this, asking this question yesterday, of course. Uh, DJ Bab is from South Africa, right? And you're from Kenya. How did you come to know each other? Let me know. I mean, let's pass. Yeah. Let's, let's yeah, but either way, you know, we, we always get, uh, but actually let me introduce you to the person behind getting uh, DJ Bath here, yeah. and they're the same people who approached me, okay? So we, are, we actually met here mm-hmm. for the first time. <laughs> first, the first one was on a poster, mm-hmm. you know, and then now excited that we met face to face, and that happens with a lot of artists, you, you'll see. Like, I mean, next week I'm with uh, G Melody, the next one, I'm, you know, with Ali Kid, but like I perform with different people. So the moment I see the poster and then I meet them, I'm normally very excited to pick what it is that they have. So when such promoters call me, it's a big deal. And whoever artists they, they, they bring. So I think actually you guys need to know him because he'll be bringing a whole lot of artists uh, here. And especially at Samurai because that's what we're trying to, to do. Well, maybe I should have, my question is... Uh, which advice uh, can you give for these young DJs, upcoming DJs, maybe you are almost losing out in this industry? Oh, man. The only advice I can say is never give up on a talent that you feel God has given you. You know? Never give up. Don't listen to the outside noises. Don't be in a rush of anything because if if you tell yourself that something is going to happen and it doesn't happen, then you're going to get heartbroken. You get what I mean? So always leave room for disappointment in everything that you do, you know. And never ever stop doing what you do. Eventually, somewhere, someone out there is listening, you know. So whether you get two likes or 200,000 likes, you're going one step closer to your goal. So don't stop. Hmm? Thank, you so Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you guys so much for you. saying Karibu Kenya. Karibu Kenya. Yeah. Karibu Kenya. Yeah. Asante. Asante. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Yes. Thank you so much for coming. I think if you want a quick one-on-one, one-on-one, he has like 10 minutes.